Hey guys and dolls, welcome to my Rosie the Riveter DIY costume tutorial. This is a really easy one to do because you can use stuff you already have and if you don't have a few simple things like a you know, dark colored blue shirt and a red hand, red handana, red bandana, banana banana, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, if you don't already have a red bandana, you can easily get it at Target. I got this whole costume at Target, um, and this isn't a plug for Target, it's just where I bought it, and then I tried to use mostly inexpensive things for this tutorial, so I really hope that this is helpful for some of you who are at a loss for what to do for Halloween and would like to do an Americana icon and feminist icon, just all around great gal. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe, and let's get started. So the first thing that we need is an eyeshadow base, so I'm going to be using the Milani Shadow Eyes Pencil in Almond Cream, and it's a nice nude shade just to, you know, erase any kind of weirdness on my eyelid. The shadows I'm going to be using today are from the Sonia Kashuk Eyes on Neutral palette. So the shadows I'm going to be using today are a combination of this peach shade and this warm brown. And I'm going to rock this right here in my socket line, just create a bit of depth and deception. And then because peach is a color that really makes my eye color pop out, I'm going to mix in this peach color with this peach color. This one's a little more orange tinted than the other. Tap off the extra. And with a flat brush, I'm just going to pack that onto my lid. Pack, 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 dun, dun, dun. And then finally sweep that even over the crease color just to make sure that they're all nice and blended and everybody's friends and everybody's getting along. And then not that you really need it, but if you want, you can go in with this center shade here our fluffy brush and just blend out the edges and highlight if that's your thing. It's my thing. For eyeliner I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Eye Booster. It's a liquid liner and I love it because it has a brush tip so it's nice, to, nice and easy to get a nice clean tip with this. So I'm going to start from the center of, well center of my face, the inner corner of my eyelid, lash line, whatever, and I just draw that across and start bringing that up. Like that, do a little line first. Do a little line, make a little love. Get down the night, ow! And then drag it on in. And that's pretty good. Let's clean it up. Before I continue on with the eyes, I want to get on my uh, tinted moisturizer today. I'm using the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment, I guess is what they call it. It has sunscreen in it and it's a tinted moisturizer, so I like it. And then I'll put concealer a couple places where I need a little extra help, like under the eyes. Then I'm going to set my foundation with a little bit of Max Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in light. I'm going to add a little color back into my skin with the Wet n Wild Princess Bronzer. Just applying that like I would a contour and then blend it up into the cheek area. With a little round kabuki brush from Sigma. And see this is similar tones to the eye so it's nice and homogenous. For blush I'm going to use NYX Mocha Blush and the same brush so we're just reusing. So we're just going to apply that to the apples of the cheeks and blend it with the bronzer. Now we have this nice flush. Oh, I've been working all day. Look. Put some on the nose even and on the chin if you'd like. It's that working girl glow. That's not what I... <laughs> I like heard myself say it out loud. I'm like, working girl glow. Really? Next, I'm going to put a little mascara on. For lashes, I'm going to be doing this pair called Siren from House of Lashes. I really like how sparse they are and they just look very natural. So I'm going to also use the House of Lashes Lash Glue for this because it's my favorite. So, and I love that it's like a blue tone before it actually uh, sets. So it has kind of like an iridescence in it that helps you know when it's getting closer to dry. And also just kind of looks pretty. Alright, and then just swoop and place it on. Thicken up your liner if you want. So now for red lipstick I'm using Best Red from Milani and I already have a lip primer down to help lock it on. And then just paint your mouth with it. 
And then once you have the majority of the color on, you can take a little lip brush and clean up the shape. next thing you'll need is a red bandana with white polka dots. I couldn't find that, so I'm substituting it with just a plain old red bandana. I also got this at Target for, I think, $3.99 for like a double pack. It had both the Crips and the Bloods in it, so you know, non-discriminatory headband two-pack. So you pull out the bandana and you fold it to where there's about two or three inches room on either side from where it's folded over, so not quite in half. And then you're going to turn it around, turn around. Every now and then I look like a boy scout. Okay, we're done. So what you want to do is start brushing your hair back. And my hair is curled, but it doesn't have to be. You know, your hair really isn't going to show, or it will. That's the great thing about this look, is you have options to show your hair or not show your hair or whatever. Now, my little curled double lock thing here, I it took me a little while to do this, so I'm not going to be showing you guys in the video, unfortunately. But basically, I curled it, teased it, and then just shaped it so that it had this cute little curly curl. So take the two ends of the bandana, hold them at the ends, and bring them up, hold them like y'all, and then start to bring bring up the back and kind of shove the hair in there if need be. Now if you have longer hair, you might need to pin your hair to make it stay. And then I'm going to give myself a tie and then a second tie. All right, and then you can leave this open so that your hair is showing and kind of fold it down and be like, oh, hey, look at my cute curls. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover up the hair by pulling this forward. And I'm actually gonna lift up that tie and pull this piece through. And then I'm gonna wrap it around again to secure it. And then you can zhuzh that and change it how you want and then you can pull your ears out. And then the last thing for me, because my hair is very slick and the bandana won't stick, <laughs> see what I did there? Uh, anyway, so my hair won't stick uh, in, or the bandana itself won't stick. So unfortunately, I do kind of have to put a few bobby pins in just because I, if I tie it any tighter, I'll get a headache. And if I don't do this, it'll slip off. So, you know, you, you make do with what you've got to do. Um, if you'd like, you can just put the bobby pins at the bottom so they don't show in the front. So then take a little spit, do a little spit curl with the uh, little, what's this called? Sideburn hair. And there you go. That is my Rosie the Riveter look. Super easy, quick DIY, last minute, very important. And uh, just really kind of iconic. And you could totally just wear this any day of the week because it's also great as a rockabilly look. So I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself and give my video a thumbs up and subscribe. See you, bye.